Yeah, yeah, man. It's the homie Hood Legend back with another vlog. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with everything going on in Battle Rap. Gnome 14. Gnome coming. What you gonna do, Tay Rock? You know what I'm saying? Tay Rock and Jerry West has been announced. You know what I'm saying? We know Rock has been on every other card this year. But, yo, is Jerry West going to be the one to stop his run? We all seen what Jerry West did to DNA. He whipped his ass. He kind of retired DNA from battle rap. Let's just keep it real. That was kind of DNA's last battle. Jerry West and Jerry West had the crowd on stage screaming 30. You know what I'm saying? So we all know Jerry West can get on that level. But this is Rock we talking about. This is Tay Rock. This nigga go flip west so many times, you go pray that you was on the east. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. This nigga go have West Craven flips, Jerry flips, the West flips. It's gonna be crazy, bro. This nigga go do gymnastics with this nigga name. You know what I'm saying? He go flip it so much. But yo, this is gonna be a fire battle. I already know this is gonna be a fire battle. We all know Jerry West can get on that level of a top tier when he wants to. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like he wanna take it there, bruh. He wants to take it there. He trying to get on Rock's level. And this could do a lot for your future, Jerry, if you actually go in there and you have a good showing versus Rock. A lot of people have because Rock brings the best out of his opponents. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just going to keep it 100. This nigga, when you battle and take Rock, you know you better come with your best material because if not, you will die. You will die, but this trailer was fire, bro. I'm going to keep it real. The nigga had like a Deadpool-type joint going in there, you know what I'm saying? Like, yoking niggas up, asking them where Tay Rock was going to be at. You know what I'm saying? Nigga was like, yo, he had no. You know what I'm saying? So, this is going to be fire, bro. I already know this is going to be a good battle. But, hold on. Let's, let's, let's hold on. It's a but here. The URL has had fire announcements all year. But what event has been fire? None of them. Y'all battlers got to make this fire, bro. The last event was just fire. Supposedly. New Jersey twerk got up there and all them boys, they went up there and laid an egg. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping it real. They was talking hefty. That was trash. You know what I'm saying? Like, so don't get up there and lay an egg. Don't do it. Which I know Rock ain't going to lay an egg. You know what I'm saying? Like... I know Jerry West kind of, he been waiting for this battle forever, bruh. It took these niggas, this nigga five years to book him. But what happened? DNA said don't book this nigga right now because he beat my ass. Let him cool off. Let him simmer a little bit. Is that what happened? <laughs> because they did not book Jerry West after that battle versus DNA. And that was kind of a 30, bruh. That was kind of a 30. I'm going to keep it real. This nigga brought the basketball out versus DNA. Like saying, y'all out there playing taps. This was when they was out there playing taps and everything was so cool. And they out there tossing the basketball back and forth. And DNA jumped in and he was tossing the basketball. <laughs> Jerry West went out there and 30 that nigga, bruh. He was like, I ain't with all that friendly stuff, bruh. I'm not with it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't with it, and that was crazy. I, re I respected that. That was fire, you know what I'm saying? So we all know he ain't going to play with Rock, and we all know Rock ain't going to play with him, bro. So let's just keep that 100. Let's keep it 100. Rock ain't going to play with that nigga. He going to come out there. He going to be sweating. He going to be yelling in this nigga face like, word up, bro. He is going to take it there, all the way there. You know what I'm saying? So I know this going to be a good battle. It's going to live up to what it's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, this battle. I don't know about the rest of the car because the URL can have some fire announcements, but the niggas go over there, bro, and they just look at URL as a money grab. They don't care about the lights and the cameras no more. This is a money grab for me. You know what I'm saying? This is a hustle, and they hustling the URL. You know what I'm saying? Like, not to mention, we ain't even got the own P and the, you know what I'm saying, the ace battle yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on there, bro? Like, I don't know. The URL just got to get it together. Hopefully, this is the event that kind of, like, gets people back talking about them. You know what I'm saying? In a in a good light. Instead of, like, like the last event, bro, it was a disaster. It was a disaster. Charlie Clips freestyling all over the place. Chirk, twerk, choking all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Ocho and them niggas didn't, don't even want to do nothing with them no more. You ain't, you ain't heard Shannon Sharp uncle them say nothing about battle rap since the boys went in there and laid an egg. You know what I'm saying? So, bruh, hopefully this is a good battle. Hopefully it's a good battle. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm going to say hopefully. But you know Rock don't come to play. And Jerry know if he don't show up, he might not get booked again for the next six years. You know what I'm saying? Like, So, Jerry, we all know you know you got to have a good performance, nigga. You might not get booked for the next six years out here messing, with, messing around with the URL playing with their money. Because they don't play with you. 
They don't give you a chance. They give all these other niggas a, a chance. But when it comes to Jerry West, they don't play with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this is going to be a pretty good battle, a pretty good showing for both MCs on their part. But if I had to choose, I got Rock winning this joint, bro. I know Rock going to come in there prepare. He's not going to be out here playing, stumbling and fumbling. He's not doing none of that. You know what I'm saying? That's why they put him back on this card because Rock won't know the last card that was a disaster, was he? I, I think it was serious. It might have been him and Sirius Jones. That was a disaster too. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't really a lot of like arguing going back and forth because Rock was a him and Sirius was about the fight. You know what I'm saying? So I know now with this battle going on with Jerry West, it's gonna be like an actual fun battle. They go get in there, they go fight with their bars. They're not gonna try to fight each other. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's gonna be a pretty good battle. You know what I'm saying? But uh, next up, you got Geechee Gotti versus Fonz. Geechee Gotti versus Fonz. Bruh, who asked for this battle? You know what I'm saying? Like, who asked for this battle? I don't know who asked for Geechee Gotti versus Fonz, but normally when you don't ask for battles like this, they normally turn out and they be fire. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real. I'm just going to keep it real on that. You know what I'm saying? So, Geechee Gotti, just don't come out here freestyling and thinking you A-Ward and you can just freestyle your way through all the battles and, you know what I'm saying, you just go to the new freestyle king. This nigga done turned a little flip. Like, he done turned into the freestyle king. Like, come on, bro. Like, Geechee, don't be doing that. You know what I'm saying? Go in there, have some bars written for Fonz because we know Fonz is a heavy puncher. You know what I'm saying? He's punch heavy. And I want to see a good battle. You know what I'm saying? Which Fonz is going to come prepare. I know you going to come prepare, but this kind of is like a a, a, a mirror match kind of in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Geechee kind of is kind of like a kind of punch heavy, like West Coast punch heavy artist. And Fonz is more punch heavy East Coast. So this is kind of going to be a good battle. Hopefully. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully. I'm going to say hopefully after every battle because I, I just can't trust the URL bookings right now. You know what I'm saying? Which I don't, I don't think P booked this card. I think Beasley did this, you know what I'm saying? This is something that Beasley did, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like Geechee Gotti can go in there and he can beat Fonz. Fonz can captivate the crowd, but he's not, he don't know how to have crowd control. Fonz just got poised and he's punch heavy. You know what I'm saying? But with the crowd control, that edges the Geechee Gotti. You know what I'm saying? With the with everything else, the lyrical performance, it kind of edges the Geechee Gotti. Because it's only so many punches that Fonz can do. Unless he's punching back to back to back to back to back. And it's very seldomly that a lot of battlers do that. So really, I'm edging Geechee Gotti in this battle 2-1 over Fonz. You know what I'm saying? Then you got T-Top versus Danny Myers. Danny, you better not mess this battle up, bro. You asked for the bear. You asked for this nigga. You been asking for heavy hitters and you like Tay Rock. You done damn near ran out of opponents over there at the URL. So, you better have a good showing. And I feel like Danny Myers don't actually, you know, mess up uh, uh, like like that at the URL stage. You know what I'm saying? Other than real sick. And then he had a battle with Fonz, I think it was. And it's kind of like lackluster. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real. So, Danny, come out there, have the rebuttals. We all know that. T-Top can, can rebuttal when he's been rebuttal in his last couple of battles. So I hope you've been seeing that. And you know kind of what T-Top going to bring to the stage. And this is a top tier like Clash. So Danny, come prepare. You know what he going to talk about. This nigga is kind of the angle god. Kind of in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, So you know the angles that you got on you. You know what T-Top going to talk about. You know what he going to attack. So you know what to expect. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real, bro. So with that being said, Danny, you better bring every rebuttal out the bag, nigga. You better throw your hat off stage 30 times. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't go out there and be playing with this nigga, bruh. For real. Because we all know T-Top does not play. His last performance versus Chef Trez was a classic. Classic vintage T-Top. This nigga went in his bag. And when I say he went in his bag, he went in his bag, bruh. And he didn't jump out until he was ready to come out. This nigga was fire, bruh. He was fire. I'm going to keep it real. So you got to be fire when you actually going up against T-Top. You got to make sure everything that he going to say that you go first and you say it before he get to say it. And you kind of pre buttle this nigga because, you know what I'm saying, like, you know the angle that he going to come at. Your wife, your kids, your life, your age, he going to come after all of that, Danny. So you better be prepared. And with T-Top writing skills, bruh, he can kind of craft a, a, a round within a night. 
So, like, bro, the, the face-off, if they having them, but the night before, you better kind of, like, not say too much. Just go in the face-off and kind of just be like, yeah, I'm here to battle you, nigga. And I've been waiting on this. You know what I'm saying? Don't give away too um, too much because you know how T-Top go out there and he actually give it up when he's actually on one. And he just kind of, like, actually kind of cleared Chef Trez in the A where Chef Trez is from. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind. But if I had to choose, I got T-Top winning this joint 2-1. You know what I'm saying? With Danny going to have some fire rebuttals, but I just don't think it's going to be enough to actually kind of like keep up with what T-Top has been doing. His name is in the runners of the champion of the year, and believe me, he want to keep that up. He's trying to compete with Rock, bro. He's trying to compete with Rock. So just remember that, you know what I'm saying, you got to actually like get on his level. You know what I'm saying? He's the A-side to this battle. You got to get on T-Top level for this. You know what I'm saying? So, if I had to choose, like I said, I got T-Top winning this joint 2-1. Then, last but not least, you got Loaded Lux versus Rum Nitty. This is going to be a fire, like, bout right here. Hopefully, hopefully, I, like I said, I'm saying hopefully after every battle because I hope this is, it's a good card, bro, because the URL has been taking so much scrutiny these last few battles and events that they've been throwing, bro. It's, about, it's been kind of been crazy. I'm going to keep it real. So, Loaded Lux versus Needy is going down. You got Lux, which is a god MC. You got Needy, which is coming up in the game. is one of the top punchers. He kind of took that baton from Conceited, and he's running with it. He's one of the top niggas in the game that's punching. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Uh, he, he got his uh, co-mate of, of EFB niggas on the car. So, this should be a fire battle from Needy. But when you come to Lux... He he go get this work, all this and that. Lux is gonna get out there and he go like he go bring his best material, bro. Lux go bring his best. He ain't gonna be playing. Lux got a lot on his mind. He got a lot on his plate, and I see him answering the call. You know what I'm saying? When Lux answer that call, bro, it's hard to beat this nigga. It's hard to win against Ver loaded Lux. You know what I'm saying? So like. What Nitty need to actually do, he need to neutralize all that talking and come in there and he need to actually throw a couple of haymaker. Uh, punches and actually neutralize the talking that Loaded Lux is going to do if he can actually do that. Can he do it? I don't know. Maybe he can, but he got to he, he gotta get in there and he got to have some fire. It's got to be some fire punches. It's got to be some fire punches, bro. I'm going to keep it real. But with all that being said, you know what I'm saying? Lux is going to talk. We, we, we all know what Lux going to do. You know what I'm saying? Lux going to get in there. He going to try to break them down. He going to get in there and say things about spaces and what niggas been doing and the things that they've been doing over the last year or so. Because remember, Lux keep all the fouls. I hope, I hope niggas know Lux keep all the fouls. Keep that in mind, Nitty. But with all that being said, I got... I got I got the alien taking this joint, bro. I got the alien in the upset. You know what I'm saying? The alien go upset him. But with all that being said, it's the homie hood legend. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with everything going on in the battle rap. Till next time, I'm out. Hit that subscribe button. You heard? We going up. Yeah.